वेलकम टू एस एच यू डेंटल अकेडमी आई एम डॉक्टर नीरज वधावन वंस अगेन गेटिंग अ वीडियो फॉर यू वी आर गेटिंग अ लॉट ऑफ क्वेरीज फ्रॉम द स्टूडेंट्स आफ्टर द आई एन एस सी टी नवंबर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री एग्जाम एज टू वॉट टू डू एंड हाउ टू प्रिपेयर लॉट ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स आर एंशियस रिगार्डिंग द नीट पैटर्न एग्जाम विच इज जस्ट राउंड द कॉर्नर टू मंथ्स डाउन द लाइन सो लॉट ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स आर आस्किंग वॉट टू डू इन द लास्ट टू मंथ्स यू ऑलरेडी नो वी हैव एड अ फंटेस्टिक रिजल्ट इन द आई एन एस सी टी एग्जाम वी हैड ऑलरेडी सिक्स सेलेक्शन कन्फर्म एंड डॉक्टर एम इज रैंक फिफ्टीन सो होप फुल चील ऑल्सो गेट थ्रू दिस गाइज वील बी पुटिंग द इंटरव्यू सून बट लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड विद द इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग विद द स्टूडेंट्स हु आर स्टिल टू गेट सेलेक्टेड एंड वी गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द नीट पैटर्न सब्जेक्ट वाइज डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ द लास्ट फाइव ईयर्स नीट पैटर्न पेपर्स वॉट थिंग्स यू शुड फोकस अपॉन इन द लास्ट टू मंथ्स Let's see here 2023 pattern. Okay, 2023 pattern. You will see a very consistent kind of a pattern of paper. The subject-wise distribution. It usually does not go according to the prospectus for this say. So we are going to tell you the reality and the difference between the ideal and the real world. So this is where you need to focus upon. Let's see the most important things first. I will say general path in medicine always very important in the NEET pattern exam. L look at this part. it's getting around 13% weightage 13% weightage means around around 33 questions in path and medicine out of 240 this is percentage not absolute figure okay so around you are looking at around 30 to 33 questions out of 240 in the neat pattern exam and also you look at the oral path medicine and radiology three combined subjects you can say omr is different opath is different for me i take them nearly as representatives of the same thing so oral path medicine radiology here you are seeing 15% but normally the weightage is somewhere between 15 to 20% on an average and for general path and medicine it is around 10 to 15% weightage okay so these are two most important subjects apart from that you will see consistency in general surgery varies between 3 to 5% sometimes 6% also so it is a very important part of the medical side what to do general surgery is very vast so on an average we give a very concise condensed material regarding general surgery and if you do from our notes our videos lectures uh, you see the videos across of the toppers they say whatever the medical side was taught to us by the academy that was more than sufficient so you try to go to general surgery books you are wasting time for a 5% 6% weightage but you do the high yield stuff that we give you in our lectures in our videos in our mock series exams so that will be good enough uh dental materials most of the dental subjects are going to have weightage between varying between 3 to 7% that includes dental materials dental anatomy and histology combined i this is not just anatomy this is dental anatomy and histology combined cons and endo two disciplines again you will have around 5 to 7% weightage ortho is also 5 6% weightage pedo and perio somewhat 3 to 5% weightage is there mostly you will see the next figures that i show you oral surgery also falls in this in the same category and community around 5 to 7% weightage sometimes even 4% weightage but community dentistry is very important if you hit selective areas of community you can maximize your scoring like biostats if you are doing okay some health programs you are doing uh, uh levels of prevention you are doing health education you are doing okay so we in our mock series and our revision exams also expose you to the new kind of questions and these are the kind of questions which are coming fluorides is also very important it is more important for the ina exam but still in neat also fluorides is important you do specific things you can score a lot in community dentistry so these are the biggest disciplines look at prostho i will call it a relative underperformer considering uh, you are going to have around 4 to 8% weightage in prostho in all the papers you will see but the thing is in prostho you have four disciplines fpd implant rpd and complete dentures and if you divide even if it is of 8% weightage and divide in four disciplines you get around 2% weightage per discipline so if you are putting too much energy into prostho trying to do new things trying to understand new concepts in the last two months uh, you are putting energy at the wrong place because you are having just a 5 to 8% weightage four disciplines to cover rather put your energy in oral radiology medicine general path medicine surgery or other areas like dental materials is very important community is very important S selected areas of ortho are important oral surgery also uh, some of the areas are important i'll go to the medical side now general anatomy has always weightage between 3 to 5% okay most of them is going to be from head and neck 1% is going to be the rest of the body so if you're trying to do the rest of the body 
in the last two months and not having done the other parts which are like the dental important parts you've not done your path medicine again you are wasting time physio a very important subject but always an underperformer in the medical in the neat pattern exams you are going to have weightage between 1 to 3 percent mostly biochemistry is going to be between 0 to 2 percent micro pharma has some things common with pattern path and medicine generally the weightage is going to be between 1 to 5 percent so again these are all relatively underperforming subjects you're trying to put too much energy into them you are wasting a lot of time same pattern 2022 look at biochemistry and physio physio is 3 percent bio is 0 biochemistry is 0 micro pharma only 3 percent and 2 percent relatively important subjects path medicine general surgery general surgery is just 4 to 6 percent but as i told you if you do selected areas like what we teach you what we give questions on you can maximize upon your scoring so if you see the cost benefit ratio you're doing it properly general surgery is a highly rewarding prospect to cover o path medicine radiology again 19 percent together so very important prosto in this 22 pattern was important again 8 percent 9 percent weightage so 2 percent per as i told you 2 percent per discipline in prosto surprisingly perio was 0 percent in another paper you will see perio was 0 percent but this is an outlier so you will take it as a 4 percent weightage when you prepare for the exam cons and 0 percent surprising very surprising but normally cons and endo you get around 5 percent weightage community if you see consistently between 4 to 6 percent weightage you will have Oral surgery varies between 4 to 8 percent, perio, pedo, again around 4 5 percent, ortho is between 4 to 6 percent, cons, endo, again, all of them pro dental disciplines are somewhere between 4 to 6 percent weightage, except for oral radiology and medicine, which make for around 19, 15 to 20 percent weightage, and general path and medicine make for between 10 to 15 percent weightage. Look at general surgery here, 8 percent, dental materials, 8 percent, single subject, dental materials is very important to do properly. Again, underperformers, physio, biochem, micro, pharma. So, the thing is, when you are doing so many subjects and they have such less representation, especially the medical side, how to cover them? I will talk about that later. First, let us see four more details. Biochemistry, 0% weightage. Micro, 0% weightage. This is the 20, neat 2020 pattern discussion. Physio is 2%. Anatomy is, again, 3 to 5% weightage. Most of it is head and neck. Coming to pharma surprisingly 9% weightage but you will have a lot of things common between path medicine and pharma so you can use them interchangeably so putting too much energy into pharma also will not be very rewarding if you've done your medicine very well pharma will be covered this is an outlier so don't take it very seriously dental materials again is very important and oral radiology and opath around 11 and 8 19% very important in opath and medicine what to do you get a lot of radiograph based diagnosis now they are giving histopathological figures also so i will suggest that you do a lot of mcqs and try to see pictures in the books okay you have your shafers you have your nevels try to see pictures in those books and do some part of theory also from there when you're seeing so that you are able to understand they will just give you a descriptive information about the picture histopathological picture and you have to interpret it in your mind sometimes they will give you a picture itself and you have to identify so both the ways you have to do some part of theory and you have to see the pictures as well to be to be confident about it dadh this is dental anatomy and histology again four five percent weightage so relatively important not outrightly important da only you need to do mcqs whereas dental histology you can do some parts of theory just to revise yourself if you are not very confident about it i told you perio sometimes can be an outlier zero percent in two papers we have already seen so perio is relatively important i will say prepare perio according to a three to five percent importance okay pedo surprisingly had a lot of questions again they would be overlapping with ortho so this is an outlier pedo again you prepare as a four to five percent so there are certain areas in which they are going to ask not everything is asked okay so go to 2019 the 198 and two more uh, papers i want to show you 19 pattern neat 18 pattern neat Biochemistry has a under weightage. Micro pharma higher relative physio have relatively higher weightage along with path medicine. Oral radio radiology, path medicine around 14% weightage, so 4-5% 
questions have come less in here and they were more in the medical side so sometimes you can have some medical side weighted paper so you have to be prepared for both the things especially the second timers okay the first timers will have a lot of difficulty preparing for such changes but second timers cannot take such risks and you need to be prepared this is more like in 1% biochemistry micro physio are 4% which are relatively on the higher side pharma is 8% so pharma is also making up for important part of your preparation but again as i tell you if you try to go deep into the pharma and do a lot of theory you will be lost so what i would suggest is if you are doing from a medical side mcq book cover some important aspects of pharma and most of it will be done if you try to do everything in pharma you will be lost because a lot of things are common with path medicine general medicine for example drugs and diabetes okay management of hypertension so you count it in pharma so pharma weightage goes up you count it in medicine the medicine weightage goes up okay dental materials as usual is very important and oral path medicine weightage 11% only no questions in radiology they are overlapping so that can be a reason but over a period of time if you have seen from 18 to 23 the weightage of oral pathology in medicine has become much more compared to the medical side paper from 17 to 18 this is a composite what i wanted to show you very complex thing don't get scared when you see such a chart i have talked about individual years here i am talking about all the years together and the weightage of relative weightage of all the subjects so this one is this one is 2023 okay uh, this one is general anatomy and you are seeing the weightage change okay in, uh, in in general anatomy with each year starting for 2023 you had 10 questions in anatomy okay and in 2018 you had again 10 questions in between 2021 or oh, in 13 questions okay in between in 2000 around 2020 you had eight questions so if you see the consistency is there if you look at this whole thing, wherever you are seeing the graph peaking, look at this path medicine, very important. In, in, in 2020, 19, 2019, you have 40 questions in general path medicine. Same thing, opath and medicine. If you, if you calculate both of them together, opath medicine and radiology, this figure is going to be as high as general path and medicine. So opath medicine, and radiology comprises a very important chunk of your preparation along with general path and medicine apart from that wherever you see peaks okay look at this area oral surgery can be sometimes an outlier having a lot of questions at other times the weightage can be relatively low and most of the other subjects are having a same peak if i call this as an average most of the subjects are going to be touching this average except for a few ones like biochemistry physio has a low weightage a lot of times micro can have relatively low weightage okay rest of them are touching nearly the same peak you can also talk about forensic odontology i have not mentioned it here as a separate subject because i have calculated it in oral path and medicine and forensic how do you prepare forensic just the chapter in shifers is there you read the new shapers and you read that chapter and forensic is going to be done you don't need to do anything else so i these are the number of questions every year in opath medicine from 2023 okay to 2018 how many questions have come in every year so this is the actual number not a percentage okay how to use these last two months very effectively you will need to do some part of your theory as i already said you need to see some pictures you need to do some if you don't know about the various aspects of histopathological aspects of diseases you need to focus upon them okay but doing your last five years six year neat pattern paper is very very important and this book has been there since 2006 helping the students to go through it you see a lot of videos you will see comments from all the toppers they have done this book many many times okay multiple times three times four times so if you have not done this book you have to grab your copy today it does not matter whether you have the latest edition of the previous edition you need to do the book that is more important and you should have done it at least two times okay at least one to two times before you go to the exam so uh, apart from that uh, we also have 
our mock test series and uh, you've already known we have had a fantastic result and all the toppers have been sparing by the questions that we have put in our papers so to help you guys we also are now releasing the mock test series and if you're watching this video you're going to get a link for getting a 10 percent discount on the pro course so if you subscribe using this video you're going to get a 10 percent discount on the pro course we're going to st uh, start the series very soon so keep updated on our official website and uh, in our mock test series we give actual weightage like you've seen all throughout in this video we try to give that kind of weightage to the paper so you actually get actually get new questions you get repeat questions and you get exposure to all kinds of questions that you might be expecting in the exam so i hope you guys like this video and find it helpful for your preparation you guys have any queries you can always put it on official mail and uh, or contact us on the official number so good luck to all of you. I'll come back with new videos as per your requirement. Bye-bye.